Like you can't overdo it. Like you know, like that's that's scaring the hoes. See, niggas don't be knowing that, man. It's a lot of shit you can do, man. Like scaring the hoes, that whole shit. Which let me let me talk about that too. I've seen someone try to have like a whole um like like a thesis. Like like is that like something men should be um you know should be like rallying around scaring the hoes. That's not a good thing, you know. The thing is with me and Peggy, I mean, I know the album's going to be out by the time y'all are hearing this. And hopefully Peggy get the mixes together. I will say this, man. We, I know everybody been complaining about the mixes, but I, I to be honest, um, me listening to it, I didn't really. We, we, I mean, it's not supposed to be. It's Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia. The shit is not supposed to be fucking mixed like a fucking J. Cole album. Like, the shit's supposed to sound like alternative rap. It's supposed to be a little rough around the edges in some sense so i've had no problem with the mixes i thought and i know people are like oh i can't understand what you fucking saying like that, that's it's kind of like the point kind of like some sh- i thought y'all niggas like mumble rap god damn <laughs> i thought y'all like mumble rap not when i'm doing it though huh it's like i'm talking shit no nah, but um i guess the album will be out by now i'm i will say i'm gonna get it out of the way i am super excited and um yeah, man, Peggy's my brother, man. Like, I'm, um, I guess the best thing I can say about it, not the best, but I, I don't really feel like I play nice with others, like working in the studio, because I know how I want my music to come out in some type of sense. So it's like, but I am the type of person that need help with everything that I want to do. Where I feel like Peggy is the opposite for me. Peggy don't want no help with nothing he's doing. That's probably why we're going through some of these problems with the mixes and shit. But his ass, he he he's a one man band. Like he don't want nobody to do nothing with his music. You know what I'm saying? This and that. So that's where we kind of like meet in the middle with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So we worked we worked hard on this album. It is what it is, man. Uh, I hope people like it, man. I know I love it. I will say it's one of the um, it's one of the best produced albums I ever been a part of. Like so, I mean. Um, as far as the um songwriting goes about it, um I mean I wrote this we wrote the songs. You know what I'm saying? So I mean I, obviously I can't judge that part because I was more of a, you know, factor in that part. So I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, we wrote amazing songs, but I can just say him doing his job as producing, he fucking did over and fucking I can't fucking, you know, I can't stress enough how honored I am to be a part of this project so I hope everyone I ain't even know hope I already know y'all niggas about to hear this shit and lose y'all fucking mind so it is what it is I will say one of the big things that we had of making this album is um we definitely wanted to have shit like I don't know I think our our, our mind frame as much as it was you know people knew us two making an album together is, you know, making some weird shit, making some out there alternative shit. We wanted to make shit to perform, man. Like, we want to be able to, this shit to rock at shows. Like, we want to be able to have cracking ass shows together. So I think that's what, like, the, you know, the foundation of it, that this shit is about to slap live. Like, I can't wait to fucking perform this shit. So that's that. All right. <laughs>